I'm Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shop and today we're going to make this really cute half yard bag. It's great to give a quilty gift in and what's great about it is it's reusable. So after the mom receives it, they can reuse it and keep diapers, bottles, snacks, all kinds of things for kids in it. So it's got a long life. So let's get into it. Like I said in our burp cloth video, I was super inspired by all the gifts that Teresa gave at a recent baby shower. And the drawstring bag was one of the gifts, so I'm thrilled that she is showing me how to make this so I can show all of you. It's actually pretty easy. It does take a little bit longer than the burp cloth though. So what you need is a half yard of one fabric, a three inch strip of a fabric, and you'll need a ribbon. We're using three quarter inch wide. The easy pull bodkin makes it super easy to pull the ribbon through, but you don't have to have it. That's totally optional. And today we're using the On the Bright Side collection by me and my sister Designs. It's super happy collection that makes me smile. So let's get sewing. So we're going to start with our half yard piece of fabric and you can see we've got the fold here and there's no exact measurements. You're just going to take this half yard and what we're going to do is we're going to trim the right side by putting our creative grids ruler on here and placing one of the lines on the ruler with the fold. But it will just make sewing easier. So I'm going to make that trim. I'm going to rotate and here we just want to cut the salvage off. So just kind of look and see how wide it is on the top and the bottom. Put a line on the ruler right here and cut this off. And then you'll do the same thing on the last one. And just so you can see when you do this, your line here, if you line it up here, we're going to get a clean cut. It should also be straight here and it is. And of course it's a bag, so it's going to be a little bit forgiving so you don't have to be as exact, but here before we start, you just wanna have straight lines on the three edges that are not the fold. So the fold is here and our opening is here. I'm gonna turn this around and we wanna create a hem on both of the short ends. So I'm just gonna fold this down a quarter inch and press. Then from there, I'm just going to fold it another time and press. I'm going to flip this over and do the same thing on the other side. I'm just pressing this free form. I'm not using pins. I'm not using a ruler or anything, but it's about a quarter inch. If you want to, you definitely could use pins and do that, but I just think since it's a bag, it doesn't have to be exact. So I did want to let you know, before I started this project, I didn't pre-wash the fabric and I didn't starch it. I just used this straight off the bolt. And to finish the hem, I'm going to stitch on this fold right here. And I'm just going to stitch with like a little bit longer stitch, like a 2.0. And I'm just going to use a white thread and just go straight down. And to me, it's easier to stitch with this side up instead of this side because you can see exactly where you're stitching. So we have our hem on both sides. Now what we're gonna be doing is adding our channel that's gonna go about right here and this is what it looks like in the bag. So let's move to that step. So here is our strip of fabric. I'm gonna cut this down to three inches just so you know how to cut it. You're just gonna cut one side, cut the other, and then I'm gonna lay this on top of my bag and then I know the exact width here to trim it down. So I'm just gonna trim it like this. And that is gonna give me two channels, one for each side. So from here, you're gonna fold this in approximately half an inch and press. You're gonna stitch right along this raw edge, just like we did before on both sides using that same stitch length. Now we're gonna take this strip, put wrong sides together, and we're gonna just keep that together. I'm not even gonna use pins. I'm gonna use a quarter inch seam and go all the way down. A 
Okay, now on this, I forgot to backstitch. So I'm just gonna go back and at the beginning and end, add a little bit more strength by adding more stitches. So you can just add some stitches, reverse. Just for some security. But if you're doing this following the video, just do the back stitch up front and you won't have to do this. So now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna kind of finagle the fabric where it folds down and you're keeping that the center seam in the center. And you're just gonna finger press this open and put your iron and go from one side to the other. And that's gonna give you a really nice top on the back and then this will be hidden. So you're gonna make two of these and now we're ready to attach these to our bag. So you're gonna take one end of your bag I'm going to use a ruler for this. You're going to go about four inches down. So I've got the line on my ruler at four inches and you're going to place this with about one inch on each side. So you can use your ruler as a guide. It's going to be about right there. And I'm going to pin in place so that it's easier. Now from here, I'm going to go to the sewing machine. I'm going to stitch right on the edge of the blue on the right side, all the way down and the left side, all the way down. And I'm going to back stitch and you're gonna do this on both sides. And now I'm gonna add the second channel on the opposite side. So I've added the channel to both sides and you can see that there is excess here. And the reason there is, is we're gonna be doing a French seam, which is a fancy way to hide your seams on the inside of the bag. And you're not going all the way to the edge. And that's why, because it's gonna give you room for your ribbon to come out of the channel. Now you're gonna take your bag and you're gonna have your wrong sides together and you're not gonna pin, but you're gonna start sewing at your open end with a quarter inch seam all the way down to the fold. If you do it the other way, you might end up with an uneven edge here. And it's gonna look funny because your right side is out, but it's a French seam. Just use a quarter inch seam and sew on the long sides. So when you're sewing, you will wanna start and end with a back stitch. So now you're gonna turn the bag inside out. So I'm just gonna grab one corner and pull it out. It makes it easy. And then what we wanna do is press right here just to get it nice and flat along this edge, not this edge. This is the inside of the bag, so you won't see it, but I just think it's easier if you press before you start doing the next seam. So when you look, you've got your seam here and that's a quarter inch. So we're gonna sew this seam to cover it. So since it's a quarter inch, you really need to stitch about three eighths of an inch. But what you need to do is make sure you don't close this channel, which is right here. So these have to stay open. So you're just gonna sew with a three eighths inch of a seam here. I'm just gonna draw it to make it just a little bit easier for me since I don't have a three eighths inch foot. And when you're sewing, you know, you might have to kind of peek to just to make sure that you're covering this and not covering this. You're gonna start with back stitching, And you can also just kind of, you know, use your fingers to feel to make sure you're not covering the channel and to make sure you are covering the seam. On this side, I'm gonna sew on this side because I am gonna start at the top here where it's open. I need to draw my line on this side this time. So then you'll just turn this right side out 
So you'll want to trim off any of these little loose threads at the end. And this is how your French seam looks. So all those raw edges are now gone. And when you wash, it won't shred. And this is how the outside looks. And you might have a couple of little loose threads. You'll just clip those off. And then we'll be ready to do the ribbon and the channels. Now you're gonna take two ribbons and cut 46 inch length. So I'm just gonna use the lines on my mat. And again, this is three quarter inch ribbon. We do sell this one at Fat Quarter Shop. It is called Stitching with the Housewives Three Quarter Inch Aqua Ticking Stripe. You can also find this at any type of general craft store. Now here on the end, end of the ribbons, you can you know turn this under and uh, glue it down or top stitch it. We're not gonna do that for this bag though. We're just leaving these raw, but just so you know, you could do that. And now we're gonna put our ribbons in our bag. Now when you look at your channel and you open it, you have the middle channel, which is between the two blue fabrics, and then you have a bottom channel, which is between the pink and the aqua. The first ribbon is gonna go on that bottom section between the pink and the aqua. And you're gonna take this bodkin, you just clip it down, move this little thingamajiggy down, and that holds your ribbon, and again, you're between the pink and the blue. And we're feeding from the left side. So you're just gonna go down. And you're gonna come out again between the pink and the blue. Leave a little tail, flip this over. You're on the other side. Go between the pink and the blue, the bottom. Keep your ribbon the same way and just do the same thing. And then you'll just wanna have an even end on each side. Pull this down and this is how it looks. And again, we started here, ended on the other side. Now we're going to do the other ribbon. So this is the first one. Again, we worked through the bottom, pink and blue. Now you're gonna take another ribbon, attach it to your bodkin. We started on the left side. Now we're gonna do the opposite side and you're gonna go between the two blues. On this one, you're just making sure you start with the side that doesn't already have tails. Pull that through, leave a little bit, flip. Move these out of the way. Keep your ribbon going the same way and go between the two blues. And you just pull it where it's a little bit even. And then here you can decide what you wanna do on finishing the tails. So now that you have these together, this is an important step. And you could um, sew these two together or what I'm gonna do is just tie them in a knot. That bodkin leaves like a little bit of a dent in your ribbon. And so I just think the knot is really good. Just make it really tight and have it at the end and then you can clip this if you want. Do the same thing on the other end, just making sure they're straight. And just try to get it to the very end. And then I'm just gonna make them so that that one's clipped at the end. I'm just gonna clip this one a little bit more so they're kind of matchy matchy. And now your drawstring is gonna work. You're just gonna pull it and you can just kind of finagle it and you can use your bag. Let me know what you think. We've never done a bag like this. Thank you so much to Teresa for coming up with this. And I want you to comment and let me know, what are you gonna use your bag for? I can't wait to hear. Mm -hmm.